We're going to show you how to fly the DJI Phantom 3 drone next on Now You Know. The DJI Phantom is an amazing machine, especially considering its affordable price. It has a 2K camera mounted on a gimbal for very stable video shots. It can fly for about 25 minutes on a single charge. It has a range of half a kilometer and it can fly in very windy conditions. It uses your smartphone or tablet along with its controller to enable it to do some very cool things, which we'll show you next. So to start up your drone, it's pretty simple. First you install the battery right here then you have to turn on the drone. So you press once and then you hold and it turns on. Um, next would be your controller. So you turn on your controller. Um, next thing you wanna do is Wi-Fi connect your smartphone. Then you wanna open the DJI uh, Go app. And then as soon as your phone is connected to the Wi-Fi of your drone, you'll be ready to go. So the next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to link your drone to your controller. So you're gonna come in here, you're gonna to go to controller, scroll down, and then go to linking RC. Then your controller is gonna start beeping, and then what you wanna do is with a stick, press that little button. And then in a couple seconds, it will connect. Now your drone's pretty much all set and ready to go. So you can start recording and take it off. Okay, so to get your drone off the ground, you first have to start the motors. You do this by pushing down and either in or pushing down and pushing out and holding for a couple seconds and that gets the motors turning. And it'll let you know when it's, when it's doing that. So now you're ready to take off. So there is a manual takeoff mode and there is an automatic one. I'm gonna do the manual one right now. So. So all you have to do is push up on the left stick and your drone will take off into the air. So how much flight time do you have once it's in the air? You get about 23 minutes. That's with flying and recording. And do you have to worry that you'll run out of juice when it's in the air? So they're pretty smart about this. Um, what happens is, um, once your battery gets uh, lower, it'll automatically do a return to home before it runs out of juice. Now, wait a minute, what's a return to home? So basically, if I lose control of the drone, or if I tell it to, it will come back to where it started and land all by itself. Now, do you have to worry that it's gonna bump into something on its way back to home? Yes, so that is why you set a return home altitude. Now, what does that mean? So what that means is when it loses signal or when you tell it to, it will go to a certain altitude and then it will begin returning home. So you wanna make sure that that altitude is higher than any objects that you can, that are around you basically. So if it loses connection with you at any time, it, will, it won't just crash, it'll fly home? Yes. That is so cool. Now, how far can it go? So it can go about, um, half a kilometer in every direction, including up. So it's quite a way to, to go. Now when you're flying it, are you just looking at the computer screen, your, your, your screen, or are you looking at the drone itself? Um, I usually look at both. Um, you wanna be able to know where exactly you are, where you are, and also um, what the drone can see, because sometimes the drone can see stuff that you can't. And sometimes um, you can see stuff that the drone can't, because the drone can only see what its camera is pointing at, and you can see sort of everything around it. So where the camera is pointing is always forward for the drone? Yes, so if I push forward on the stick um, in normal conditions, normal mode, um, it will always be uh, sort of forward in terms of the camera. And when the drone's kind of far away, how can you tell which way is forward? Um, so there are lights on the drone, and that's one way that you can tell, um, and so they, they're generally flashing when the drone is in the air. Um, and you can, so the, the red ones are in the front. Oh, okay. Um, and you can turn those off at night if you need to, but I wouldn't recommend it. Now, when you let go of the controllers, what does the drone do? Does it crash? The drone immediately stops in, uh, you know, basically traveling in every direction, um, whether it's up, down, 
uh, left, right, forwards, or backwards. It, it uh, goes immediately into a hover. Oh, cool. And so it's using GPS to kind of just keep it there? Yes. So basically if there's some wind, it's going to account for that wind. Um, if there's, you know, any other factors that might be pushing it in one way, it will fight back and push in the other direction. So now, what are some advanced things that you can do with the drone other than manual flying? So there is, there are a couple features. Um, one of them would be a point of interest. And so what that allows you to do is it allows you to fly in a circle um, around something. So in this case, we'll fly around us. So I'm going to come in here. Um, let's see. I'm going to select point of interest. So now it says it wants me to um, wants me to fly over my point of interest. So I'm going to fly it right over our heads. Okay. So now the drone's flying right over our head. Okay. So now, now I hit apply. So now it knows that that is the center of the circle that it's about to draw. Oh, okay. Okay. And so now you're going out to the edge of the circle. Yes. So I'm actually going to go a, quite a bit higher because I don't want to run into anything around us. Okay. Um, so, and what I can do really quick is just do a quick check of the perimeter by spinning the drone around and looking at the horizon and just seeing if there's going to be anything that it's going to bump into. Oh, I see. So you get your camera level and you do a spin and you see if you see any treetops. Right. So we should be good. So now I'm going to aim it down back at us. Um, so let's find us here. And to aim it, you're using that little wheel on the left with your first finger? Yeah. So there's this wheel right here and that controls the gimbal uh, up and down. Gotcha. So now we're looking at us, and now I can choose how fast I want it to go in a circle. So it's going to take about 22 seconds to make a complete lap. Okay. So now that I hit start, I select a return to home altitude. 50 meters is more than enough, so I'm going to hit apply. And that's if, in case while it's doing its circle, it loses contact with us, it'll fly home. Right. So now it's doing a circle um, of us, so we can wave up at it, and I don't even have to touch the controls. That's cool. Yeah. And so basically you can center that on anything like your house or your car and then it'll just circle around as long as you want it to shooting down at you. Right. That's really neat. So that's really fun that's thing a really to do. Cool function. And then you can sort of stop it at any time. So I will confirm stopping that. Now, let me ask you, what if you wanted to go for a hike or a bike ride and you wanted your drone to follow you? Um, that's another feature that's actually next on the list. So oh, cool. what we can do is I can uh, start to bring it down closer to us. Since we won't be moving very fast, it's important that it's close to us so that it, you can actually see the difference as opposed to it being very far away. Okay. So now I'll select the follow me function. It corresponds to our movement, so we, I'm going to go ahead and hit apply. Cool. Do you want to walk up that way? Or sure. Or you can walk down that way? Okay. So basically you just told the drone to follow you. Right. And the drone is going to just keep us in frame? Right. So as we start walking, it's going to basically, it's going to match our position. And so while it's flying, I can also turn it so that it's facing us a little bit better. And so now if I don't like that it's getting, going to be getting close to that tree over there, I can also adjust the height. And it'll still keep following. Right. That's so really cool. Move it up. And this basically just allows you to sort of set one point and then allow you to, uh, to keep moving in terms of that point. And that point in this case is us. Now, as you're flying, if you kind of lost track of time and you were about to run out of battery, what, how does it work? So basically what it's going to do is it's going to, um, it has a home point and that's wherever you took off. And what that's going to do is it's going to um, return to that home point. And it knows how far it, away it is. Um, and so it'll fly, it'll, it'll, you know, basically wait till it has just about that much energy left and then it will uh, make its retreat. Oh, that's really smart. Yeah. All right, so if we start heading back, I'd like you to show us how to land it. So right now, you're not flying the drone. It's just following you. Right. And I have it set so that it probably shouldn't crash into anything. Um, but I can keep my eye on it, and if I need to make any adjustments, I can do that. If you're afraid to land it yourself, is there an automatic landing mode? Yeah. So, um, so let's see. So now that we're done walking, I'm going to say exit. Um, uh, the follow mode, so I confirm that I want it to stop doing that. And so now what I'm going to have it do is do a return to home. So there's a little H, and that's going to return to the home point, which is somewhere over there. Okay. So I hit that H, and then it asks me if I would like to do that. It's going to fly up to 50 meters before returning home, so it's actually going to 
gonna go a bit higher before it does that. Just in case there's a tree or a power line in the way before right. it gets there, I see. So now it's going up, so it'll miss any power lines or trees. Right. And how did it know where that home point was? So that home point is basically um, when you start up the drone, um, the home point gets automatically set. Um, and so then another thing that you can do is you can set a manual home point. So you can select anywhere on the map and say, I want this as a home oh, point. Oh, cool. So you can kind of change the home point even if you didn't start from there. Right. Um, you can run into trouble with that in terms of it wouldn't have enough battery if you set it like a, you know, 20 miles away or something. But in most cases, I think it's, it's probably, it's, it's a really great tool. And so now as it's landing, I can still control it. So if I realized that I was gonna hit a tree or something, I could still maybe move it out of the way if I had to. Oh, I see. But this way you can kind of relax because it's doing most of the work. Right. And so it's coming down at a nice slow rate. Right. And uh, I can just sort of take my hands off and, and relax. You don't have to manually land it at And if all. it were windy right now, would it, try, it would still keep its position? Yeah. Um, in, in winds up to about 22 miles an hour. Which is pretty windy. It's pretty darn fast. And so now I can sort of say, oh, I want you to land right about there. Cool, now once it's touched down, what do you do? Um, nothing, it, it turns itself off. So basically, well, it turns the propellers off. And so now it's either ready to be shut off or ready for another flight. So fly it up one more time, and I just want you to show us a manual landing. Sure. And talk to us about, there was some kind of backwash thing that we have to be careful of. And as you get closer to the ground, you go into something called ground effect. Oh, ground effect. So what that means is um, that basically the, the ground is sort of bouncing the air that you're pushing down off of it. And it means that it's gonna sort of give it a little extra hover, um, which isn't probably something that you generally want when you're trying to land. So I'm gonna slowly bring it down and then nice manual landing. Nice. Now what is that thing where you push the two sticks in towards one another at the bottom, what is that called? So that is the startup sequence that, that just sort of tells the drone, oh, I should turn my propellers on. Oh, okay. And so you don't want to do that while you're flying it. Right. If you, it does not shut off the motors. So if you do that while you're landing, you're probably going to flip it upside down. Ah, uh, okay. Now, is there anything else that you like about this drone? Um, I love its stability. I mean, I know that we've talked about that, but I mean, it is just so stable. If if for some reason I get distracted, I can just take my hands off the stick and it will immediately go into a nice hover. Um, and no matter what happens to it, it will just sort of be happy about that. It'll just, it'll, it'll fight whatever it needs. That's cool. And so when you get your drone, it comes with different color stickers you can put on it. Why is that important? Um, well, if you have a friend with a different drone, uh, you want to sort of be able to differentiate them. Ah, you don't want to uh, get confused and start controlling, thinking you're controlling his drone. Right. right. Okay, so those last shots you saw were with Jesse flying the drone. Uh, he's a pro at this, I am not. And so let's see if a complete noob can fly a drone without crashing it. Okay. So first thing you're gonna wanna do is start it up. So take both the sticks, you pull them all the way down, and then push them either in or out. Good, and then let go. Take off. Okay. Um, so now with the left stick, um, the left stick is gonna be your up, down, and your turn left and turn right. Okay. okay. So if you give it a little push, you start to take it off. And if you give it a little more of a push, you take off even faster. Okay, so now with the left stick, you can turn left and right. And that's just like turning your head. And so now the right stick makes you go forward, backward, left and right. And keep in mind that it's relative to the drone and not the way that you're looking. Yeah, so it is confusing when it's pointing at you like it is now. Right, that, almost everything is backwards. Right. And so I'm gonna lower the camera. Nope, got that wrong. I'm raising the camera to get us in shot. Whoop, overdone, there we go. Okay, so this is easy. If you freak out, you just let go and the drone just hovers. Right. Um, if you want it to go this way, you just have to think about it that it, you're going the opposite way that you were thinking. Right. And I guess the hardest part here is that you also have to be thinking about the camera at the same time. Right. The, just flying the drone is pretty darn easy. It's getting a good camera shot that's right. the hard part. So here I want to show you a little trick. Little that trick. That could definitely help. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to do course lock. 
course lock. So what that allows us to do is you can turn the drone to face a certain direction and okay. that we can lock. So, so give it a turn okay. with the left stick. So let's face it away from us so that'll help us uh, think about this more clearly. Good? Okay. So now it's pointing away from us and we hit apply. And so now, no matter which way you turn, it's always going to, if you push the right stick forward, it's always going to fly away from you. Oh, okay. So why don't you go ahead and turn that around to face us. And so now it should act, you know, how you would normally, or how you'd want it to act. Oh, yeah. So it, if you push away, it'll it fly goes away, away from you. And if you pull towards us, it'll fly towards us. That's cool. And if you push to the right, it'll go to the right. And if you push to the left, it'll go to the left. That's um, a cool feature. Right. Now that is cool, but however, if we flew it over our heads, it's going to be backwards from the way that we're thinking of it. So there's another one. So we're going to exit this mode. Okay. And what I'm going to do is set home lock. And we're going to hit apply. So now it's basically set off of the home point. It's oh. So right and left, it's going to move in a circle around like a clock. Gotcha. And so the camera is this little wheel on the left. And, yeah. it, and it is hard to get it just the way you want it, especially when you don't want the sun in the shot. Right. And so that's going to take some practice. Right. But I do love the fact that without any practice at all, I could set up like a 360 shot right now right. and be so should just show me that real quick. If I want to set up a, oh, we're getting sure. the low battery warning. So okay. should I freak out? Uh, you don't have to worry. We still have um, quite a bit of time before it does its return to home. So um, we're gonna go into, we're gonna exit the home lock mode. Okay. Even though it's still beeping, we can still do this. Um, so we're gonna go to point of interest. Uh huh. And so you're gonna wanna think about this. So you're gonna first fly it directly over our heads. Okay. Oh, and this is where you gotta kind of think for a second. Right. Okay, good. And now we're going to hit apply. Okay. And now fly it up to an altitude above the trees. So keep going. A little higher. And then fly it out. Good. And that'll be the out, you know, the outermost part of the circle. And then you can adjust the camera to look at us. Okay. And then I'm going to drag this slider so that it's going to do a nice, uh, it's going to start doing it. now it's it's going around in a circle um, and what's about to happen is the battery is going to get so low that it's going to do an automatic return to home uh-huh um, and so basically oh cool so even if I'm a moron right. the drone is not going to let me screw up well it will if you keep flying it you still have manual control over it oh I see so now it's taking over it's doing a home right. control so a without you doing anything it's it's saying I need to return to home right now because if I get too low on battery, I'm going to fall out of the sky. Gotcha. So that's what it's doing now without us having to, to touch a button. That's a really cool feature. So basically, even if you're kind of having so much fun that you've lost track of the battery life, the drone's going to be keeping track of it for you. Yes. And when it gets close to running out of, of battery, it's going to fly back to home no matter how far away it is. This is a fantastic feature because I can't imagine how many people have probably lost their drones because they just weren't paying attention to their battery. Right. And this was a lot of battery. I mean, we've been out here doing this for over 20 minutes. Yeah. No, I mean, this is a this is a great amount of time. You can really get a couple, you know, shots in before it lands. Look at that! It landed without me doing. I haven't done anything. That right. was all the drone. All the and drone. then, do I do anything now, or is it done? Do I push those into the? You don't have to do anything. It's it's turned itself off, and, and we can go ahead and, and power it off. That's so cool. All right. Thanks for watching this episode on flying the DJI Phantom 3 drone. Useful links are down below. Please subscribe so we can continue to bring you more videos. Leave us questions and comments. Now you know.